Hello and welcome to Once More with Feeling, having to keep it really quiet this edition. <laughs> Covering the album Sweetheart, I mean Darling, I mean Dearest, I mean Honey, yes Honey, by Scandal. <laughs> you really need to get that out, don't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm making that joke since I first mentioned what it was called. <laughs> I've been waiting two weeks to make that joke. And with that... This is the end of the review. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> right, so anyway, um, you get your stuff out first. Just a quick thing, I don't have my mic with me this week. That's why things will sound a bit crappy on my end. It's something that just happens occasionally. But anyway. Can't always be around with a uh, equipment. Mm -hmm. Especially when you're taking a last minute trip to your girlfriend's because of reasons that life happened. Life is a shit. Yeah. But everyone knows that anyway. Anyway, yeah, Pierce, you explain Scandal and then we'll go on to discussing the album proper. Basically, Scandal are a all-girl Japanese rock band that started, I can't say, 11 years ago? Or might be 12, it's... I don't have the 10th anniversary recently anyway. But uh, this is actually their eighth album, which is pretty impressive considering that a lot of bands you know, do like ten years of their existence and at least like two albums. <laughs> but also worth noting that this is the second album that they've completely composed and written themselves, because they did start out essentially as an idol group. Hmm. But they've been taking more and more of a front focus in you know, doing their own music and playing their own music, which is always nice. Yeah, um, also when I first heard this album, it was actually not what I was expecting, you know, because I mean, I've heard their last three albums, and this seems to be kind of a slight change in style compared to those albums. So as you can see, the last one that they did, which is called Yellow, came out in 2016, I believe. Yeah, it was well, 2016 anyway. Um, that was a lot lighter and kind of more poppy. Also kind of kind of kind of weird, kind of summer feeling and kind of happy and floaty. This seems to be a lot more towards the rock end of things compared to that, which I'm perfectly okay with because, as I mentioned many times before, I like rock and metal. So now I have to ask this: Have Scandal done anime intros? Yes, they have. They're probably most known for doing an intro to Bleach, which you'll be familiar with because you like Bleach. Well, I always skip the intros, so I can't really comment. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, but uh, now I, I ask this: Might as well get onto the album proper um because most of the songs as far as i was concerned sounded like anime intros that's right i mean they have done quite a few mostly in their early career actually mm -hmm. and most of their recent stuff hasn't actually been used for anime but they did start out as a group that did do quite a lot of anime stuff there's stuff like from metal Lung, mist brotherhood stuff like bleach so relatively yeah, mainstream Fairies. anime song stuff. Yeah. Also, they've done quite a lot of covers of other things from anime as well. So, also being fans of that kind of anime opening kind of themes, they've probably taken that a lot into making their own stuff as well. Um, yeah, I'll admit I don't actually have much to comment on the album. I mean, listening through it, I didn't hate it. I just didn't really have much of an opinion. Yeah, it nothing really. Well, there were a couple of songs that I enjoyed. But most of it just didn't really grab me. You get those albums occasionally. Sometimes I just listen to something and think, yeah, that's alright. And that's pretty much all you can really think about it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the most commentary I really have is that um, I liked Midnight City. Um, it kind of, that song kind of had a bit of a Depeche Mode mixed with Alphaville feel to it. Mm, yeah, I can hear that. This is kind of, we're kind of, kind of strange new link kind of going on in the background there, that way, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Short Short I quite enjoyed. Um, felt a bit... Uh, this is where I sound like a massive hipster because of mentioning bands that, you know, you only find out about if you make a point of looking for obscure bands. Um, there's a French band called Indochine. Yep, I have no idea who that is. So. Um, but yeah, if you know what Indochine are like, then you'd quite, you'd probably like Short Short if you're a fan of Indochine. Um, Electric Girl I also quite enjoyed. Uh, that I found to be quite a fun song, and guitars have a good energy. Um, it still had a bit of the anime intro feel to some of it, but the sort of anime intro that would get me interested in the show. 
as I said about anime interviews that are good for the shows that are not good, the better. Um, oh, yeah, that's a fair point. There's so many. Other. <laughs> Um, also, talking of which, the uh, scandal also did quite a few songs for the film Loop Guru, and I've re- I don't know a review of that film. It's fucking terrible. <laughs> so don't bother watching it. But then he showed up with like, a character in the film as well. And I was like, well, that was a fucking waste of time. Um, now, is it awful in the so bad it's good kind, or no? It's mostly incredibly boring. Ah, uh, that's sort of awful. Is it like a couple of cool sequences or something like crazy? ridiculous girl in like a huge mecha out of freaking nowhere but that's like five percent of the film ah. and also the plot just doesn't seem to go anywhere whatsoever uh, fair enough um yeah the last thing i really have to comment on is um platform syndrome that that is probably the song i enjoy the least on the album because I was, from the opening licks, I was kind of expecting something a bit Scar-like. No, it doesn't do that. <laughs> yeah. So I was sort of like, oh, I... I, I was hoping for Scar. Yeah. You, you you were promising Scar and you didn't deliver. Bastards. <laughs> well, yep. Yeah, overall, must admit, I am actually rather impressed with this album. I mean, I've heard the last three albums up until now. This is the, will be the fourth of those I've heard. And I think probably this or Hello World, which is their sixth album, are the two that stood out to me most. Mm-hmm. The thing I would suggest is if you may give it a listen and like it, I would highly recommend seeing them live if you get a chance. They come to the UK a couple of times and they've got a really good live show. So. Um, uh, what score would you give it? Um, I'd probably go for a four at the moment. That may well improve because it's the kind of thing I reckon might well grow on me as well. Some of their earlier albums have grown on me over time as well, so I reckon it's probably will too. Fair enough. Uh, uh, four seems a bit hyperbolic in my opinion, but whatever. Um, personally, I'd give it a two and a half. Oh, if you think oh, it's all right, and two and a half is straight in the middle, so that makes sense. Yeah, that is quite literally uh, just how I reacted to it. It's just it's standard. Yeah, there's a few songs that I enjoy, but for the most part, it's just functional. So also worth noting that if you are in the UK, it will be released in UK stores uh, next week. So if you really felt the need to go into a local HMV or whatever and pick it up, you can. Um, yeah, short episode this time round because I have not much to comment on. And it's very difficult to do an episode when you don't have much to comment on. <laughs> but yeah, he hasn't got much to comment on. I, well, I know what I'm saying anyway, and I've got a relatively straightforward opinion of it. As in, I like it. Mm. But it's a band I've liked, so that was to be expected, really. And uh, also, both of us have got a lot going on at the moment, so... Yeah. Um, Doesn't really help either. Uh, all I'm going to say is... Next episode will be... Uh, next episode... Well, ooh! Yeah, that's it. Spirit. Been wanting an opportunity to cover them on the show for a while now. Next episode will be the new Judas Priest album. Ah, uh, okay. I expect Ed will probably give it a pretty high score, because he's like some kind of weird fanboy. <laughs> Specifically for the, those high-pitched vocals. Get some hard. <laughs> That's it for this episode. It's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from me. <laughs>